thanks for requesting me. Once again, we are playing Toho Misty Izakaya, and let's rock and roll, I guess. Um, right now, so just checking my friendships and everything, Kaguya looks like she's about to get to level 5, so we'll go visit her, and then I was thinking we could go down to the, uh, to, whatchamacallit, oh my god, what's it called? The mausoleum, and finish up Futo's quest, and then, oh, Sega's really close too. But yeah, that's what I was thinking. Put that back. I don't understand how I never run out of that. Probably because, like, I mean, I just get it all the time. Sparrow sake. Some bamboo. Special drink for Marissa. Five of them, nice. Moon rocket. Here we go. Okay. Miss Kaguya, it's been several years since you got came to Earth. Are you getting used to Gensokyo? Hmm. I've been here for seven thousand years. Really? But the rumors about you only started a couple years ago. While I've lived here for a very long time, my time didn't become observable to others until that trigger. That trigger, are you referring to the Eternal Night incident? It does seem that after that, rumors started spreading that there are mysterious aliens in Gensokyo. I didn't know you had been here for thousands of years. Then why have I never heard of you before? There are many reasons. As a fugitive princess, I had to constantly evade agents trying to capture me from the Lunar Embassy, so I applied the Eternity Magic to Ante. Eternity Magic? I'm a, ma oh. <laughs> a magic that stops Eternity's progression in history. In addition, it also blocks out all filth and changes. So that's why nobody knew of your existence, even when you had been there for thousands of years. It must have been really lonely. A thousand years, even for yokai, is still a really long time. Indeed. Looking back, living in a constant state of fear, just trying to evade agents from the moon. It was really stupid. Oh, then what made you dispel the magic? Maybe it's because I got jealous seeing how the relationship between yokai and humans improved. Jealous? It doesn't matter. What? What? If you do things because the external world compels you, you'll burn out eventually. I was sick of that one thing, and it wore on me for a thousand years. Always carefree and never bothered by anything. Just simply forget all the sorrow. I want to be someone like that. Ah, uh, I'll forget everything eventually, sorrow or happiness. That's completely different. You do that because you don't have the brain capacity. Capa capability. I hope you can remember something forever. No, it's not true. I have something that even I won't forget. Really? At least I won't forget opening my izakaya every day. You are actually being pushed to do it. It's not clear how much your conscience contributed to it. Wh why did you say that? I too, I too have been trying my best to achieve my dream. Your dream? That's right. I'm opening my isekaya every day so that I can have my own solar concert sooner. Really? Even you had plans. <laughs> Even you found what you wanted to do. Hmm, speaking of that, I always wanted to ask you, would you like to attend my concert? To show off? Eh? Well, I, I don't... <laughs> well, I'm bored anyways. It might not be a bad idea to check it out. Hmm, then this VIP ticket. I'll take it. For now. Thank you so much. I look forward to your attendance. Well, actually, I haven't started building the stage yet. Finding something you enjoy is one... Is in one of itself something to be cherished. All you need now is to simply never give up. Yes, I'll have the concert in no time. While I did tell you that I accept this ticket, your intentions are sincere. It would be rude of me not to give something in return. There's really no need. I'll tell Ray Sen to send my gift to your residence. Think of it as my way of saying good luck to you. Th then I'll graciously accept. Thank you again, Miss Kaguya. Oh boy, a new outfit. Do not leave through the incorrect exit. Do not leave through the incorrect exit. Oh. You've got to stop opening up, like, like waking up at 10 a.m. Come on, girl. Okay, let's see here. Oh, 
that's rather cute. Oh, she looks very nice in it. <laughs> it's cute, but it's not my favorite. We're switching back to the witch costume. Because that one's my favorite right now. They're all quite cute, I believe. Okay. So, human village. The demo for the new Toho game came out and I played it yesterday and it was really fun. I enjoyed it quite a bit. I feel like um, Phantom's Gorio Flower View was more fun, but this one was fine. Maybe I feel like this one was easier, but that's good because I'm really rusty so like I haven't played in such a long time that I like, I'm glad that it was easier. <laughs> Like, I found myself making, like, really simple and, like, dumb mistakes. It was, like, embarrassing. Ugh. are a little too long. Uh. <laughs> I'm here to get feedback for the 8 try again fish maz. Your cooking is superb, but this is only one part of Taoist food culture. You have only gotten your foot in the door. No wonder the mausoleum is hosting a culinary arena. You guys seem to have cooking in the bag. How do you store cooking in a bag? Do modern people truly use that turn of phrase? Huh? I guess you could say that. I shall bear that in mind. In any case, as a friend, here is a valuable- here is a piece of advice. If you wish to return victorious from the an arena, I suggest you challenge Myoran temples. Nothing is more insulting than sharing first place with those pretentious yokai monks. I would much rather stand with a true yokai at the winner's podium. Ah, uh, we're aiming to be the sole champion. Ha 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 The valiant die but once! Very well! I will not go easy on you. I won't hold back either. Do you own a boat too, Miss Futo? Oh, thou caught sight of it? Indeed! The Yokai Temple is not the only place with a heavenly ship. I'm so jealous. Myoran Temple's ship is a is a ship of light. Is yours the same? My ship is not as pretentious as that. Tis the real deal, a true biscuit porcelain. By biscuit porcelain you mean Indeed, a ship made out of plates. What can a ship made of like that really float on water? It cannot float on water, but I can replace it through a set plate ceremony. Sounds rather nice. It's a waste of a lot of plates, though. My girl out here just... Just making shit up with plates. <laughs> okay. I was thinking the forest of magic is where I want to go. And I think I know what I want to serve, too. At least two dishes. Let's see, I wanted to serve the ginkgo. I pass it? Probably did. This too. There it is. Okay.
Oh, no, I want a cutting board. Extra cutting board, please. Thank you. All right, let's get to it. Almost missed that one, I was not paying attention. <laughs> She doesn't, then she doesn't. Yep. I wanted to give this to Alice because I think she'd like it. Because it's cultural background and it's also sweet. Oh shit, sweet's unpopular right now. I forgot. Western. Okay, it was okay. Rainbow's here. I thought Rainbow would like that. Okay, what else does Alice like? Premium. And it looks like she doesn't care if it's unpopular, so... Okay, we can make it home cooking.
this morning, I watched Toy Story 4. I was about to call it Rune Factory 4. Um, and oh my god, I cried so much at the end. Like, bro. I can't believe they did that. I can, I can see why though, but still I was like, you can't do that. <laughs> you can't do that. my friendship. Did I tweet that I was live? Let me just double check. I'm a bit forgetful. I did. Okay, good. Did you guys see all that drama with like the boobs and stuff yesterday? Um, yesterday somebody posted like they like body shamed this girl for having the biggest boobs I've ever seen in my life. This woman had huge titties. Like I have never seen such big boobs. And I was like, holy moly. Like I, I didn't care about like whatever was going on. I was just in amazed by the boobs. Like they were huge. They were, I think they were the biggest boobs I've ever seen. Anyways, she was like, how come she gets to have big booby on, on Twitch? And like there, there was like no nip or nothing. Like it was just booby. Um, and <laughs> we're like, what the fuck, what are you, what are you, what are you talking about? Like, who gives a shit? But then like in the comments and stuff, she was like, I want to pop them and like stuff like that. And like, yes, slippery. Like, girl, mind your business. <laughs> who cares if she got fat knockers? Like, oh my God, they were so big. Like, my goodness. And like, why wouldn't you use that to your advantage if you had it? You know what I mean? Like, if you got huge knockers, then use them. <laughs> and then like, the kicker was like, the girl like also did like lewd stuff. Like she did like, like the ah, I go face or whatever. And then like, she like has, like she's like, ooh, big booby streamer, like ooh, like. <laughs> Well, hold on, I'm getting a phone call.
my dad just called me to let me know that uh, he was gonna get some food. Uh, but he was like, the line's like 10 people long. I'm like, that's that's okay. Like, I didn't really... <laughs> it was nice of him to like try to get me food though, so... Give me some fish. Fish. Ooh, four. Noise. Okay. You know what? Let's open at the yokai trail. No, no. Okay, keep keep it up, keep it up. Keep going with that. That over there. Okay, but sweet food is unpopular, so I should be careful. Okay, this was popular as fuck. I only have 89 of them. Let's do this. I'll still do that one though. Okay, what am I missing? Steamer? No, the pot. We're getting closer with Narumi and Alice, but I feel like it's still gonna take a while. so it'd be wasteful to give her something sweet. to trigger her spell card right now that'd be good because we're not super full Shit, okay, yep. Yeah. Oh, and my dad told me the McChicken at McDonald's is over two dollars now. That used to be a dollar menu item. Oh I can't believe it. It's horrible. Imagine coming to a restaurant and like you have to wait for a seat because some bitch filled the restaurant with a bunch of like fucking dolls and is ordering food with them. <laughs> Let's 
Meat beam. Tips. Girlfriend, what do you want to drink? Chillable? Good. <laughs> popular things. She doesn't, but that's okay. It'll be it'll work out. Yeah, it's fine. for our friendship level is pretty good. I should go visit them today. And go up the Yokai Mountain. these ingredients. <laughs> Never again. There was a time where I forgot to like, I was kind of focused on like doing my other stuff. So I was forgetting to buy from the merchant outside the house. So like I ran out of pork. It was not my favorite. <laughs> 
Let's see if I have any... the outfits it looks like. Oh, I don't have enough coins. Okay. Hello. Narumi confirmed to not brush her hair. I understand. When I was younger, I had really, really long hair. But I ended up cutting it short. Shorter hair is so much easier to manage. Fetched him. Okay, we're getting there, we're getting there. Probably maybe two more nights of opening there. Hopefully the hate on sweet things like dies down, you know? Okay. You Finally some octopus. Not beef Wellington. <laughs> Something cheaper. That'll do. How are you? Did you get enough sleep last night? Yes, I'm alright. You? Stayed up pretty late then, huh? When did I? I, I went to bed kind of around like 10 ish or something like that, I think. Yeah, I used to actually work a night shift job. Um, so I'm kind of like used to staying up late. Oh, what? I even customized it for you. Mild. A 
that's it. <laughs> Another one? Girl, slow down. Vintage. She's gonna be out of money. That's okay. <laughs> It'd be nice if it was a job, wouldn't it? <laughs> Night shift was interesting. It was kind of hard because, like, you couldn't really hang out with your friends much. So that kind of sucked, but I mean, it is what it was, you know. She's gonna fill the seats. <laughs> Thanks, Alice. Bye. Yeah, it was um, hard because, like, obviously, like all my friends would be doing like you know stuff in the duh, the daytime, but. I'd be at work and then like I'd sleep in the middle of the day of course. So that was kind of a pain. This one's from her, so we have to put the thing in it. Girl, you stuck down there? Okay, she's good. <laughs> Oh, the place where I worked was a credit card company, so I wasn't actually able to, like, text anybody or, like, listen to music or anything like that. Kind of sucked. Because obviously we're dealing with credit cards, so I could hypothetically take the numbers, so that's why, like, they didn't allow anybody to have phones or whatever at there. I mean, there was work to do, so it's not like I was bored or anything. And you could talk to your coworkers, which was fine, but I mean, you know. <laughs> but that would have been such a good place to like listen to a podcast or something. I would have loved that. Running out of her drink. Hi, 
tools here. Girl, what do you mean not bad? The fuck? her drink. Alright. Hooray! Sweet food's all right. Good. Okay, let's get over there. There won't be as many things to, to pick as I go over there because I haven't refreshed yet, so pick a little bit here. Um, I played the new Toho game last night. I had a good time. I need to get better, but it, I was having fun, so that's the important part, you know? <laughs> I'm so, so, so excited to see who's all in the game. Like, that's, like, the most exciting part, like, right now for me. Like, I want to see who's all going to be in the game. I hope that Chen's in there. It's on Steam, so you can play the demo right now. Mr. Rumi, I'm here to play with you! You took your sweet time, didn't you? I've been waiting for you. Waiting for me? Do you need something from me? Not really. If you don't come and play with me, then I got nothing better to do than just standing here, alone. You can come play with me at I My Place, you know. Um, I guess I should ask, where do you live? Arrgh. I live in a tree house in the middle of the Yokai Trail. Are you really gonna come play with me? I'll consider it. That's great! That's one st small step for Miss Narumi, but a giant leap for neat kind. Hey, I'm not making any promises. I only told you that I'm considering it. It's not a promise. That's more than enough. You've been in neat for way too long and need some time to adjust after all. I still don't understand. What? Why are you trying to help me? You're not gaining anything in return when I'm not a neat anymore, right? Eh, you still don't get it? I'm sad. I thought we were already friends. S sorry I d didn't mean that. I was just kidding. Trying to make a fool out of me. I'll pluck out all your feathers. No, 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 no. My feathers have already been plucked by a lot of human kids. At this rate, I'll be a featherless chicken soon. <laughs> really? Fine, fine. I'll tell you the truth. I'm worried about you. Living like a statue when you've finally been gifting the gifted this wonderful life is a little too wasteful. So what? Do you always want to interfere with other people's affairs? If you made that decision after seeing all the wonders of this world, I would totally respect it. But you never walked out of your own comfort zone. I believe it's best for you to at least walk outside and follow your heart. I see, so I'm just a frog at the bottom of a well in your eyes. That's not exactly what I had in mind. No need to play it down. As a stone statue, I can only stay in one place, and that hasn't changed much after I came alive. If it's not the frog at the bottom of the well, well, I don't know what it is. Miss Narumi. I just wanted to ask, Gensokyo is beautiful, right? Eh, yes, very. Might not be a bad idea for me to go on an adventure once in a while. Who knows, maybe something good will happen. You will definitely have a wonderful time. <laughs> what a bold promise. Miss Narumi, please accept this. Is this a concert ticket? Since you finally want to explore the outside of the forest, I can finally invite you. If you get the chance, I hope you can come by and attend my concert. While I'm not sure about the exact date of the performance, I will definitely hold one sometime in the future. 
If you happen to walk by, no matter when, there will always be a seat for you in the VIP section. You've done so much for me. It will be a shame and maybe even outright disrespectful of Mimsy concert. I will definitely take the ticket and attend your concert. In return, please take this with you. A Jizo statue? Do you want me to display it around my house? Just do it and see what happens. Maybe it can bring you good fortune. It feels like I'm carrying you with me. Okay, I'll take it with me and take good care of it. Well then, good luck to both of us. Definitely. Yeah? Getting any farther? <laughs> How's your farm doing? Cucumbers and more octopus, nice. Snah. I figured this would happen, so I was planning on going to the Scarlet Devil Mansion. The field dungeons are kind of fun, aren't they? That's fun. Back to the human village, I guess. Seaweed. Oh, that's nice. I like the yellow fairy. It's a good monster. The gorilla? The chimera? I can't remember what it likes as a present. I think it's crazy that Nitori doesn't like vegetarian dishes, but like cucumber adds the vegetarian tag to stuff. Like, dude, are you kidding me? So every monster, every boss monster has a favorite food. I just looked it up on Google, you can Google it. Um. But yeah, they usually only have like one item that they like. Everything. I'll use more of these. 
Rainbow's here. Rainbow has two dollars today. Alice, but I don't know if she'll come. What shoes like the ones that let you walk on water? Okay, yeah. Signature Aquatic Strange. Ooh, I know what you'd like. Signature and Aquatic. Make it strange. Alice is here, yes. Okay. And she's here.
she typically likes with alcohol. So let's see. Greasy meat, good with alcohol, large portion. Yeah, once you get better and better with your skills, you'll be able to do that more easily. Oh, you can try drinking drinks before then. Um, a lot of drinks will give you bonus RP. Like, especially like pineapple juice. I know you can't make pineapple juice yet, but like a lot of the fruit juices will give you extra RP. So maybe give that a try. I know that like 6,000 is kind of rough, but like, I bet a, I bet a few of them you'd be able to get. Stuff like relaxed tea will do that. Let's see here. I'm gonna run an ad real quick just so like it helps disable pre-roll ads, okay. Don't do that, put that away. Okay. <laughs> Um, no, yeah, like, and of course you can always sell juice, and of course you can always go to the restaurant and order juice, huh? Huh? Yeah? Let's see. Oh, I probably should say that well. There's not an ad. <laughs> Three, two, one, ads over. Okay. Um, I was just saying, uh, you could maybe go to Corkaline's restaurant. Yeah, yeah. Um, I don't do that very much either, but that would be an option if like, and some of those dishes could be really good for fights and stuff. But like, don't be afraid to use like juice for crafting and stuff. Juice is definitely the one you're looking for. Like, that will increase your RP for sure. Some of them do it by a percentage as well, so it's... It can be kind of OP, honestly. Okay, to the Forest of Magic! Well, that's nice. I honestly, I use like an ad block on my computer, so like the ads don't show for me anyways. And like obviously they don't show to me in my own stream. But uh, I don't mind people using ad block. It's just like, you. I found out that you can't disable ads at all. Like you can't like disable ads all the way, you know what I mean? Like, so instead of like, making it so you have to watch a pre-roll ad, I'm able to like play an ad and then people won't get the pre-roll ad sometimes, but that's only if I remember, of course. <laughs> Do I? Usually not. <laughs> but it is what it is, you know. Uh, 
I was hoping I could just disable ads. Like, do I? Why do I have to have ads? Talk to Narumi out of a habit. Yes. Okay. Here we go. Miss Alice, your sister is a really fast walker. Sister? You mean Yumeko? I mean the girl in the maid outfit attire. So her name is Yumeko? I wanted to say so hello, but she just disappeared as soon as I blinked. She's most likely- she most likely returned to Makai. Oh. Eh? Makai? Have I never mentioned this before? That is- that she was a resident of Makai? Not at all! You told me she was a part of your family! That is technically true. But weren't you a human before you came, became a magician? What does that have to do with Makai? That's a long story. I'm all ears! I was already in Makai, my earliest memory. Unfortunately, I don't remember how I ended up there in the first place. Eh? Master Shinki created everything in Makai, including Yumeko and the other residents of Makai. Therefore, for me, they are all a part of my family. Then what made you come up to Gensokyo alone? For a long time, I thought that I was created by Master Shinki, just like her other creations. But slowly, I noticed that I was different. My hair grew longer and I grew taller. All while the others remained unchanged. In Makai, time only progressed for me. You were a human after all. I did not know that I was human until then. And ever since then, I knew that fact. I wanted to visit the world above and see what it was like. Are they worried about you, your friends in Makai? Yumeko and the others objectively, objected vehemently. However, Master Shinki told me, Go explore. Go find the meaning of the passage of time and do what you want to do. Your master is really kind and supportive. After that, I spent quite a while above ground. Unfortunately, I never found what I truly wanted to do. Nor did I find out why my time was progressing in Makai. Until one day, I walked past a small hut where a woman was sitting in front of a window. She was sewing an almost complete doll. It's not uncommon for humans to sew dolls or clothes. What was special about her? Well, my eyes were instantly glued to that doll. The woman, when she finally finished sewing the doll, touched her belly and whispered, See? You have another friend before you even came to this world. You won't be lonely, even for a moment. We can't wait to see you, hug you, kiss you, and love you. So she was pregnant human mother. Hmm. I can see the smile on my face just by hearing her words. That moment struck me. I don't even know what I was thinking or doing back then. When I finally regained my senses, that woman had already disappeared. All that was left but that doll by the window. I could feel the emotion embedded in that doll, yet the doll was just laying there, completely silent. What else did you expect? I felt empty. When Master Shinki created Yumeko and the others, she must have devoted a lot of emotion to them. That's why they have a free and complex spirit. Investing so much energy and emotion into something that isn't even conscious, don't you feel regretful? Mm. It's a hard question, isn't it? And at that moment, I finally found what I wanted to do. I wanted to create a self-conscious doll, and I'm willing to devote my entire life to it. I absolutely understand that feeling. Really? 100%! That's the definition of a dream! While mine isn't exactly the same as yours, I'm still doing whatever I can to achieve it. Really? After our little chit-chat, I do feel a lot more confident. Looking back, you have helped me numerous times. Is there anything that I can do to help? Eh? Thank you very much for asking, but you are always really busy. I am doing pretty much everything with my dolls, so I'm actually not as busy as you think. Don't you frequently gather ingredients in the forest? I'm a collector myself. So if you want, I can collect ingredients for you with my dolls. Really? That'd be super helpful! Oh right, if you don't mind, please accept this. This is a concert ticket? That's right, this is my dream. I hope I can continue to encourage and motivate you. Thank you, I look forward to your concert. Yeah, right? Like, why has he gotta do... <laughs> why has he gotta do all those ads? Oh well. It is what it is. Okay, because I raised everybody's friendship to five hearts in the Forest of Magic, I'm gonna turn around and go there. Because usually you get like a partner if you do that. So. Oh, here we go. Cutscene. 
I already told you that I can take care of myself. You don't need to keep sending me stuff every couple days. That's because you can't find anything good here. That doesn't matter. I'm not here to live extravagantly. That's why I can't understand you at all. You're no longer now no longer human and finally a magician. We all thought you would come back, but you decided to stay. I still have unfinished business. I know that, and that's exactly why I'm so worried about you. I know exactly how tough you have it here. What are you even talking about? You think I don't know? Going to the human village every morning to perform puppet shows for the humans there. The coming back home in the afternoon and continuing to research magic. Not to mention repairing those puppets even past midnight. What's wrong with that? You aren't me. How do you know I'm not enjoying this lifestyle? What kind of enjoyment could you possibly have? You are working 24-7 and you promise that weird bird yokai will collect ingredients for her. Is she referring to me? Yumeko, you don't understand at all. No, I don't. I'm just mad that our little Makai princess is living like a rat, running errands every day above ground. If Shinki-sama were to know, she'd definitely feel horrible. Oh, I don't think so. Master Shinki would definitely support my decision. Yeah, yeah, only Shinki-sama understands you. Everyone voted no when you wanted to leave, but Shinki-sama gave you permission right away. All right, all right, that's enough for one day. I won't be going back. If you keep this up, I'll have to escort you out of here. You... you're just... Fine, I give up. Didn't you say you liked the treats I brought here last time? I brought extra with me today. Who's there? Hi. Ah! I'm sorry, I didn't mean to eavesdrop when you two were talking. I just couldn't find the right moment to intervene. The polite thing to do in this situation is just to walk away. Uh, I'm sorry. Forget it, Yumiko. She's here for me. With the way you kept going on like that, I even got scared of you, let alone her. If only that were true. You've never been afraid of me. Come here, Miss Dia. Yumeko always speaks harshly, but she's kind and caring deep down. Don't worry too much about what she said before. Hum. Uh, I'm really sorry. Don't be. Come here. Let me formally introduce you to each other. As previously mentioned, she's my companion from Makai. Her name is Yumeko. Wait, what? You mentioned me before? Y yes! Miss Alice told me that you were her important family. Hum. Eh? Did I? Hey! <laughs> Miss Yumeko is very innocent. Who do you think you are? I, I'm sorry. Yumiko is a little defensive, but she's not bad by any measure. When you know her well, she'll be a reliable partner. She's Master Shinki's best creation in her right hand. She's very strong and gives out a dangerous aura. And, Yumiko, this right here is my friend on the surface, the owner of the Night Sparrow Izakaya, Mistia. I know her. She tricked you into running all over the forest collecting ingredients with an empty concert ticket. What do you mean by running all over the forest? I'm collecting ingredients with my magical puppets. It's pretty easy for me, actually. I don't understand the world here above ground at all, trying to open an izakaya as a yokai. See, Yumeko, you know too little about us. On the, uh, blah, 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 blah. Uh, too little about the surface. That's why you don't understand us, especially me. Fine. If you insist, then I'll stay here with you. I'll see for myself the, what the world above ground is as entertaining as you say. Miss Alice, surely she can't be serious. I am serious. Please don't. I need to concentrate when researching magic. I can't be disturbed, even if it's you. Oh, what an ungrateful brat. I won't bother you. I- I write. I can just bother her instead, right? Eh, me. I won't be a burden for you. Aren't you running an izakaya? Then I'll work for you. I'm doing you a big favor, you hear? Eh, eh. Hmm, as long as you don't disturb my research, I'm fine either way. Miss Alice? Yumeko might be a little reckless at times, but she never crosses the line, especially when it comes to work. Really? I'm the right hand of Makai's creator. What are you complaining about? It's decided then. Gensokyo, here I come. Can I really trust her? Alice says I don't understand her. Even I will eventually. <laughs> I should be able to understand her if I stay here, right? Yumeko might be a little reckless at times, but she never crosses the line. Okay. That's what I wanted to happen. All right. You know, I haven't really checked out my other partners. Okay, so let's see. Kisume, so slow down. Her movement speed is medium and her work speed is medium. 5%. And you don't get a no negative effects if you kick out guests, but I've never had to kick out a guest. Her movement speed is slow and her work speed is slow. She doesn't get paid. <laughs> She'll sleep during work, but guests are immediately brought to their tables. She used knives to deliver food. Okay.
cool. Oh, you found hurricane attack? That's nice. Good. Finally, right? <laughs> Let's see here. Okay, I wonder how Yumiko is gonna go. Sometimes, like, the fact that Alice is considered family with Yumiko is technically lore. Like, like, all of that about Alice, like, growing up and leaving and stuff, like, that was all lore. Like, that's all fan made. So, well, as far as I'm aware, anyways. Um, so, it's kind of interesting to see how people, like, do different interpretations of this and that, right? But I think that was a cool one. Sure, no. What are you doing here? <laughs> but I think something about Toho is like, you can kind of do what you want. Like, you can just kind of have whatever headcanons and whatever theories that you want, which is kind of nice. Like, and people probably won't bug you for it. Unless, heaven for fun, you draw a Toho character fat. Sometimes people get, like, all big mad. Like, if you draw, like, a character with, like, darker skin or, like, if you draw them fat. That's when people get big mad. Hey, kitty! <laughs> Your little avatar has been here the whole time. <laughs> Yeah, like that's uh, that's usually how it goes. Cause I have a friend who draws Toho characters a little chunkier, which is you know whatever, who cares? But people like get it, like, oh no, my waifu, you drew her fat. Oh, like it's gonna be okay, my man. It's gonna be okay. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. Like, your little avatar- I posted it in chat. I was like, haha, kitty's avatar. Um, I don't know. I just thought it was cute. Okay, meat barbecue filling. Greasy, good with alcohol. What do you want to drink, girlfriend? Meat beverage? Okay. That's okay. <laughs> I was like, okay, hi. Like, I don't mind. I don't care if people lurk. I do it all the time, like, cause like it helps like your stream average or whatever, you know.
Oops, wrong pot thing. Okay, here we go. A neat beverage. Here we go. Yeah. I know, I only played that one time that I streamed it, and it was just, I don't know, I wasn't really captured by it. Maybe I'll try playing a little more, but right now I was just kind of like, eh. Oh, Mars is here. Last one. Bye bye. <laughs> That's good. Great, we have context. Yippee. Oh, I know. What I do is I just like stand there and then I just like refill it as I go, I guess. Of course. How else am I supposed to know? Like, are they are they kissing because they like each other? Are they kissing because they don't like each other? Is it an angry kiss? I need to know. Kitty Toho would be a great series for you. There's just girls. There's like a couple of dudes, but it's mostly just girls. And there's a lot of kissing. I did pretty good on food waste today. Mm. 
Bye, Marissa. Yeah, there's- and one of them's a turtle. So, we don't have to worry about him. One of them's dead. I think there's, like, only one dude who's, like, actually around anymore. Sweet foods are popular, right after being unpopular. <laughs> okay. How we looking, Nitori? Oh, good. Okay, so I have a plan. I wrote down a bunch of things that I think we could try for the for the strange food competition. So I think I'd like to try that. And if it doesn't work out, it doesn't work out, you know? <laughs> I mean, there's not really kissing in Toho, but the fan artists will make the kissing. You can leave it to them. They will make the kissing. Yeah, this is him. Um... He runs a shop. Yeah, Toho Hangout Stream might be fun. I think I'd have to like, I'd like wanna read up and stuff though. Maybe. Yeah, that sounds like fun. Maybe I'll do that this week. What times do you like Kitty? Cause like, um, I'm gonna be off from day job, thank God. Uh, so, I don't know. Yeah, I could have another stream. Hey Andrew, what's up? <laughs> um, but this is the only guy, really. Uh, he just runs a shop. He's he's chilling. He's all right. I like him. All right, let's do this thing. Okay, so my plan is. Yeah, I usually stream in the afternoon, but sometimes I stream in the middle of the day. Okay. Let's do this. Is the bizarre cooking competition still going on? The event was fun, wasn't it? That's why the higher-ups of hell decided to make it a permanent activity. <laughs> That's great! So can I still participate? Of course, the next pitch competition is about to start. Do you want to participate? <laughs> oh boy. I know, I'm I'm a 8 to 4.30 wage slave. <laughs> But not for a month, baby! <laughs> I'm on a leave because I'm sad. <laughs> I like literally went to work on Friday. And I, and I lasted like 20 minutes and I was like, <laughs> so I went home. Okay, so here's my plan. I'm catering to five specific guests, so I want lion head for the oni. And then I want the ceiling pie. That's for the ubume. Where is it? There it is. Okay. The rabbits can get peach tapioca. Or maybe I should give them sakura pudding. Because that uses this- no shit, that's two things with the steamer. I think the sakura pudding uses the pot. You know what? It's fine. I can handle it. I can handle it. Okay. And then the fox gets the okonomiyaki. This music's nice. And the hone ona gets burnout pudding. Damn, that's two. Well, I can just use more than one. And then, I guess... Let's see, what am I not using? I don't have the grill. Hmm. 
It doesn't matter what I have for drinks because I have to serve them all myself. Okay. So I want the pot, I want the steamer, I want the frying pan, and I want this. Well, I should have one cutting board just in case. Okay. Let's try this. for everybody, just a handful of them. Okay, um, mid-alcohol. The fox likes okonomiyaki and beer. The rabbit likes non-alcohol drinks. What is that? Oni? Oni likes the lion's mane and anything with high alcohol. Um. Okay, and Oni, lion's mane, high alcohol. You, you like the fish pie and, let's see, sochu with low alcohol. Sochu, sochu, sochu. Okay. Oni, the Oni again? Jesus. Um. You get this in mid alcohol. alcohol. You get the fish pie with so chew and low alcohol. I have a little sticky note. <laughs> um, Foxy Okai Okonomiyaki and what else? Beer. You can get this, get this. Thank you, I'm trying my best. That's a hell raven. I don't know what they like. Okay, leopard, you can have this, and high or medium. Medium. Foxes, okonomiyaki, and beer. Oni. With a little bit of oni killer. but that's okay. Rabbit, 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 okay. No alcohol. 
Um, almost there. Almost there. No alcohol. Yes! 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 Ah! Victory! Supreme victory! Ah, okay, I did it. Phew, luckily I have the habit of taking notes on each customer. No, I do not. That is a lie. I never thought all that information I gathered would come in handy here of all places. Whoa, the battle is in full swing. Just watching it makes my gets my blood boiling. Although, some cooks have already dropped in the ball and have been eliminated. Just like that, they're lifted up without any mercy and thrown out in one fell swoop. Happened to me. So, if I lost, I would also be... Let's get right to our second theme. The Bizarre Seasoning Competition. Seasoning? In this round, we invited the strongest people from the surface. They're eager to eat some top-notch food for free. <laughs> My ingredients. <sighs> and we'll cycle through your restaurants this round. As for you, in addition to making dishes that meet their standards, we'll also give you a seasoning requirement for every 30 seconds. These required seasonings must be added to their orders, otherwise no points will be awarded. Hey, uh, it's me again. Adding on to that, I'll also be using a little bit of my powers this time. It slightly amplifies the darkness in the depths of the guest's consciousness, which means you'll forget to add ingredients, or if, the if you forget to add ingredients or the dish fails to satisfy them by even a teensy tiny bit, they'll beat you up with a spell card. Wh 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 why? I just love seeing Miss Koishi work. All right, the goal is to get 10 points. On your mark, go. I've got to step it up. Just get rid of everything. Get some stuff that I know works well. People from the surface. Who will it be? Probably like Raymond and stuff. I'm missing the pot. Okay. Everything in order. All right. Put this stuff away. Chen. Signature. How am I supposed to get? S okay. 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 Chen, hurry up and order. Pretty. What? Okay, Yugi. Sweet. Her usual. Are you fucking kidding me? What does that do? Does it mean I can't leave this? Oh, okay. Chillable beverage. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Remy is here. Strange. Perfect. A better beverage. What are you kidding? What? I don't understand. What's the deal? I don't understand! 
What the fuck? Okay, it's real scared the hose away. I am like not understanding. What is the deal? Cool. Um. Savory. Sake. I don't understand. I added... I don't understand. What am I doing wrong? a sake beverage. I hope she did. She wants a cocktail. Thank you. God. I, I literally don't understand. Okay, Remu. Maybe I have to follow exactly what they want. Like, I can't just give them the regulars. Okay, cheap. Cheap, but also wonderful. And what did she want to drink? No alcohol. Damn it. Uh. Ow. Okay, um. I can't cook that, that's what that did. Okay, um. Peach. Wait for the chat to change. Sweet and wonderful. Okay, I think I understand now. Like, I actually have to make something that's, like, what they want. Like, I can't just rely on, like, the things that they've liked in the past. I have to see what they want specifically today. 
Neat. Shit. a small portion and then make it sweet. No alcohol. Okay, good. Uh, cultural. I get extra sweet. Sake. I think I understand it a little bit better now. You okay, I want to go to the hot springs. Okay, let's see. I haven't seen Yumeko, I haven't seen Kasume or Komachi, so. The culture here is completely different than Makai. These Oni really know how to enjoy themselves. Ah, this warmth. So this is what it feels like to fully immerse yourself in a hot spring. I can feel the minerals subtly working on the body, the blood, the skin, all being rejuvenated and repaired. So within the endless amounts of work, my body has already been exhausted to this extent. Our creator, you never told us about such a wonderful feeling in the world. Ah, I see. I see now. So these experiences aren't possible without leaving Makai. I understand a little better why Alice wants to stay on the surface. Um, if it's just by myself, I, I can do it. <laughs> She's still in the bucket. Whoa! It really is just me! Awesome! Little bucket row, row, row! Today I'm the captain of the ship! My ship makes me captain! You take this shore party, I'll stay with my ship! La la la, full speed ahead! Let's go again! To think working with the boss would let me net me such benefits. Don't mind if I do. She's fucking sleeping. <laughs> it's so comfortable. This place must be the underworld's crown jewel. Speaking of which, didn't the surface also open a few hot springs as well as thanks to the geyser? Maybe I'll sneak out and try them sometime. Haha, <laughs> if Lady AK caught me, I'd be lectured for a long time, right? Been a while since Lady AK lectured me. I actually kind of miss them. What did Satori-sama say? I gotta work hard at this Night Sparrow shop to get rid of my lazy habits. Ah, uh, what a bother. Well, no other choice, I guess. 
After all, if I'm gone for too long, Lady Aki wouldn't have anyone left to lecture. I mean, somebody's gotta put their head on the chopping block, right? How noble of me. Ah, I'm getting sleepy. Rare moments like these should be spent with a clear mind on cloud nine. Night night, girlfriend. Thank you for the invitation. This experience has been a revelation for me. I will repay you with better work tonight. Thanks, I'll work twice as hard to repay you. That was too close to think I'd fall asleep in the hot springs. Even death itself was almost scared to death. Thanks to that, I don't feel sleepy at all now. Oh, so she would be awake if like, if you brought her today. That's interesting. Whew, that was hard. Okay, I think I have a better understanding of it now though. Like I have to get them what they're asking for. Like I can't just like go into my little thing and be like, oh, yep, they like this one. I have to get the specific thing they want. I'm gonna take a drink. Oh, James is here, hi James. I kind of like stream avatars because it kind of like shows me like even if somebody doesn't talk like it's like oh James is here yay okay I want Yumeko to be the first strength waitress where else do I need to go oh that's right the mausoleum clink <laughs> hi James how are you I'm going to Miran Temple Let's see. Sweet things are popular. I could bring a bunch of sweets. Missing the pot. Okay, I know exactly what to do. <laughs> Everything is sweet. Maybe I ought to bring sweet drinks too. All right, let's rock and roll. Peaches tonight. <laughs> RIP to anybody who does not like sweets today. All of my food is cute, so pink, purple, pink, purple, pink and purple. It's all good stuff. Is that a cue? Hey girl, okay. So for example, um, the food I eat has to match my nobility. So if I was in the bizarre cooking competition, I would have to serve her something premium. But right now, because I know she likes cultural backgrounds and sweet things, I can just serve her this. That's like how it usually works. Does she like home cooking? She likes premium sweet drink. Some fish on there. Canna's here too. Everybody gets siege. How we look at in here? Uh, we need tapioca. One, two, three, four, five. Or... Ooh, 
I wonder what we're gonna get. Yes! Go, go, go. So what this does is it makes it so you don't use any ingredients, which is why I'm going so fast. Like, see how much stock we got. Yippee! Oops. Anyway. Oh, she doesn't like popular things? Okay, girl. My bad. You can't come here and take the corpses, it's illegal. Toho. It's been like with me for most of my life, so you know. I like it. <laughs> Just a little bit. when you make the food cater to their taste and they still don't like it, it's like, bro. <laughs> we have 
Geht's erst mal schön. Please don't do that, ma'am. <laughs> drink was for the table that wanted it, but or the food that is, but oh she liked it. Okay, uh she'll take those. That's not Western, that's modern. Oh damn it, I did it again. Oh well. Oh she liked it. Narumi also likes mild, so if I do it like this, put some dew on it, it becomes mild. Right this time, there we go. <laughs> Jeez. Wow, look at how much money we made. <laughs> wow, 88 combo. I think that's probably one of the highest numbers I've gotten. <laughs> All right, looks good. Uh. Whew, that was a busy, busy, busy night. Okay. Maybe not so many sweets next time. Okay, let's see how they're doing. Ross is almost there. Kogas is almost there. Okay, I need to get more eels. Which means it's gathering time, lads. Oh, that's right, I got a Jizo statue. Okay. It says, given by Narumi, if I place it on my home, I get offerings from visitors every day. What? Sick. So like would I just like go down here and like steal the fucking offerings? Oh my god. <laughs> this feels illegal. It 
it's difficult to get fish in the morning. I don't know why it's like that, but... <laughs> Reimu, she's stealing the offerings! I probably shouldn't serve so many sweets again. <laughs> There's, there's always the eating contest. That's kind of like get all these dishes and stuff. <laughs> Just play Toho Miss Yuzi Zakaya. It's right here. It's right here. Okay, I'm gonna move a little bit. I'm gonna do a big stretch. Big stretch, everybody. Everybody up. Everybody up. Big stretch. Okay, to the left. Now to the right. Twist a little bit. Twist to side to side. Raise your arms up. Do a big circle. Okay, good stretch, good stretch. Ah, oh, come on, do a little stretch. Like stretch your legs or something. Or your toes or your fingers, I don't know. Do a little bit. It's good for you. <laughs> Especially if you've been sitting for a long time or laying down, it's good to do a stretch. Yeah, stretch your wrists. That's a good one. I should stretch my wrists too after I start cooking all these. Okay, stretch your wrists. Stretch your fingers. There we go. Good stuff. like this I'm gonna yell. Oh my god. Ah, Bitch get back here. I fuck you. Fogasa. <laughs> Photogenic food. Home cooking, wonderful sweet. Yeah, yeah. 
No wonder she liked the cupcake yesterday. The chillable beverage. One time I played Rune Factory so much. So like during the pandemic, Rune Factory 4 special came out, right? I put so many damn hours in that thing that I like, my wrists hurt. Love Rune Factory 4. work. <laughs> ding, ding. Bring out your dad. So Orin's skill that she did just now is kind of like a cheap shot, so I can serve anybody anything as long as I give them a medium beverage, medium alcohol beverage, they're gonna love it. See? It's like cheating. <laughs> as long as Cat's Walk is active. Which means I can just do those. Even if they didn't ask for a mid beverage. Ta da! Damn bad. See, I just gave her totally random stuff. I didn't even look. You could probably even give them stuff that they hate.
Okay, nice. She doesn't like Western food. Gotta have a pudding, dude. Just gotta have a little snackaroo. I want my snackaroo, Milorida. I bet Romelia likes the way she talks. She's like, oh, that's so fancy. I bet she's like, no fucking way. <laughs> okay, Kogasa, everybody's looking pretty good. So that's where we're gonna go today. I'm gonna collect some meat first. Meat. Nice. Good stuff, good stuff. Nice. A pine nut, yay. Nazrin, give me your junk. Oh. Alright, you guys. Story event time. Hold on, my mom just texted me. suck. <laughs> Kogasa. Kogasa, please. Thank you. When you say one leg and one eye, Ipondatara comes to mind. You know your stuff. I modeled myself after the image of Ipondatara. Why? Isn't the Ipondatara a well-known classic yokai? I want to become just as notorious. No wonder you're such a good blacksmith. The Ipandatara is a renowned blacksmith too. Yep, so I trained my blacksmithing skills to the absolute limit. I'm not all talk. You sure are hardworking. Haha, <laughs> I believe in effort. But since you're already you've already made so many preparations, why do you keep failing to scare people? I wonder. I put in so much effort, yet I can't scare anyone. What the point? What's the point in living if I'm such a good for nothing yokai? Huh! Uh, sorry! Why well, apologize? It's my fault for being so worthless. I was a worthless umbrella, now I'm still a worthless yokai. Yep, I'm just, uh, d d don't fret. 
Why don't you tell me what you've been doing so we can think of solution together? I know I don't look scary, so I changed my umbrella to look more like the Ipan Datada and use that to scare people. I think that line of thought is fine. But I can't scare anyone! Oh, what else have you done? I heard I could easily scare people by hiding near roads with lots of rumors in danger. A treasure ship just so happened to have arrived in Gensokyo, so I hid near the treasure ship and scared humans who wanted to explore it. Sounds great! How did it go? I got beat up by humans. I didn't get it, so I flipped through the so many classic ghost stories and I discovered that everyone scares people at night, so I patiently waited until night. Now I'm sure you'll scare, you'll scare someone. I still got beat up by humans. Gensokyo's humans are too unreasonable! So I thought, why not scare this newcomer who had just built a temple in Gensokyo? Isn't that way too reckless? My plan to scare the temple's head priestess may have failed, but since I kept loitering around the temple, I accidentally discovered that Mioran's temple cemetery suits me very well. Right! I almost forgot! Didn't you say you could scare people by staying in the cemetery? <laughs> That's how it was initially, but... There's only so many humans in Gensokyo. The cemetery's visitors don't change very often. I don't scare them anymore because they're already used to it. You don't say. <laughs> Is this my future? Strange. All the effort you put in seems to be going in the right direction, though. Why can't you scare anyone? Because she's so cute. I sure wonder why! Hmm. Maybe the reason you can't scare anyone is because all these methods are too old. I see. So you're saying that my method for scaring has to keep up with the times? Yeah, I got a chance to understand the dishes that become weapons too. In that case, dishes should be also become tools for scaring people. Whoa, can it really? Let's give it a shot. We'll create a freaking dish unique in Tokyo. Awesome! Is, is there anything I can help with? I'm not sure how out of the ordinary something has to be to be considered oh my God, surprising. How about this? I'll create some wonderful dishes for you and then we can look for ideas together. No problem, I'll wait for you right here. <laughs> Your student loans are due. to the yokai temple often well i go there as much as i come about as much as i come here she's right because they're right next to each other our domain should be more sufficient to meet thrine needs why wouldst thou ever go to go to a temple of a yokai to call them a fraud would be an insult to charlatans everywhere because all the monks inside are yokai i do not discriminate against yokai tis because they are too in judicus Injudicus, whatever. Anyways, not an effort spared in keeping up with appearances. I suspect they have no intent to train at all. Why do you say that? See how each of them has so much hair. Is that not proof they're in... Judiciousness. Judicious. Indudiciousness. Oh my god. Judicious. In days of yore, all monks obediently tonsureth their heads. What's a tonsure? To shave one's head. To become bald. What? No way! Kyoko absolutely cannot become a baldy. <laughs> That's what you're worried about? Girl, there's other things. <laughs> there's like a war going on between these two. That's what you're worried about? Okay. You guys are gonna level up and you're gonna fucking like it. Judicious. Dude, judicious. Man, sometimes big words are difficult. Sweet stuff, sweet stuff.
Finally. Red. Getting a mid alcohol beverage, and you're going to like it. Nice. We'll get her. is here. stuff.
nice. All right. Oh, cupcake. Okay. This looks like a big serving. How many of these can you eat? <laughs> Bye, girl. I think I'm gonna go ahead and end it here. I'm kind of sleepy. It's raining. Need my afternoon a little nappy. Ah, all right. Well, once again, everyone, thank you for joining me. I do appreciate it. We're gonna raid Wonder Witch. Let's see. Uh, she's playing Zelda again. Yeah, of course. Thanks for coming. All right, everybody, have a great day. See you next time. Bye bye.